The Ford Mustang Mach-E is absolutely the talk of the LA Auto Show. Not that Mustang, that Mustang. It's Ford's first all-electric SUV and it has pony car fans up in arms. It's not the only electric car making its debut. I'm Tim Stevens, CNET Roadshow's Editor-in-Chief, and I'm going to take you through a tour of some of our favorite electrified cars making their debuts here in LA. Don't worry, we'll get back to this guy. The first car I want to show you, though, is right over here. Surely you're already familiar with the Toyota RAV4. They sell over 400,000 of these things every year. Last year they introduced the hybrid. This year they're taking it up another level with the RAV4 Prime. This adds a plug-in option, giving you up to 40 miles of all-electric range, meaning you can probably get to work and back without burning a drop of gas. But when you do need to go a little bit further, it's still got that gas engine on board, meaning you can go pretty much as far as you want to. That gas engine combined with the electric motor driving the rear wheels gives this, are you ready for it? 302 horsepower, making the RAV4 Prime Toyota's second quickest car, second only to the Toyota Supra. Now this is coming to market next year. They haven't said how much it's going to cost yet, but I think this is going to be another big seller. Audi's got a new e-tron here at the LA show, but you might be able to notice there's something missing in this one. The e-tron Sportback loses a little bit in the rear end, which means it loses a little bit of cargo capacity. But in exchange, Audi says this one will have a little bit more range. They've tweaked the software a little bit to give you more than the 204 mile EPA rating for the existing e-tron, but they're not saying exactly how far this one's going to go. But still the same basic 400 horsepower powertrain, and it should be the same great, refined, comfortable drivetrain that we've come to expect from the current e-tron all-electric SUV. Welcome to the interior of Volkswagen's latest concept car. It's called the ID Space Vision. And as a concept car, of course, this is pretty futuristic looking with a giant touchscreen here, touch surfaces everywhere. And this material that looks and feels like leather is actually fully vegan. They call it apple skin. But as cool as this is on the inside, we gotta take a look at the outside too. This concept is really interesting because unlike so many cars here at the show this year, this is not an SUV. This is definitely a station wagon and a high performance one of that. The base model will have 275 horsepower through the rear wheels and the four motion all wheel drive. Try 355 horsepower, all electric, totally emissions free with over 300 miles of range. And most importantly, Volkswagen says they're going to build this thing. I sure hope they do. This is the Hyundai Ioniq, a car that's unique because you can get it in three different powertrains. If you want to save a little bit of gas, you get the hybrid. If you want a taste of electrification, you can get the plug-in hybrid, or you can go with a full-on battery electric model. And that's what they're showing off here with a new upgraded version. It's got a refreshed nose and a little bit more power, but more importantly, it's got a lot more range. The old car did 124 miles of range on a charge. This new one, try 170. That's a pretty impressive boost just from one model a year to the next. The car's coming out soon. They haven't told us exactly how much it's going to cost, but it shouldn't be too much more than the old one, which started at just over 30 grand. All right, without further ado, let's talk about the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now, whether or not you agree with that Mustang badge on the nose, I think we do have to agree that this it's a pretty good looking car. Yeah, it's taller than your average Mustang, but remember Ford put the battery pack down low to improve handling. That adds about three inches to the height, and so that's where we are here. Now there are a lot of different powertrain configurations and ranges. You can have rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, or two different battery packs, but the top level numbers are up to 300 miles of range and up to 459 horsepower. Ford's not giving us a formal zero to 60 time just yet. They're still tweaking that stuff, but they are saying that it'll do it in mid three seconds, which is almost as fast as a GT500. So in my opinion, it's earned that pony on the nose, but there's some other cool stuff on the inside. Let's take a look. Inside the Mustang Mach-E, it starts with that flat battery pack again, giving this thing a nice open layout in here. We've got lots of room here for your wireless charger, for your phone, and underneath is a second cubby that I think you can even fit an iPad down there. But the talking point in here is definitely this big, vertically oriented touchscreen, probably taking some cues from Tesla, but unlike either the Tesla Model S or Model 3, we've got this actual physical volume knob that's built into the display. And because it's sitting on top of the display, it can actually do different functions. So if you go into the HVAC controls, you use it to adjust temperature, for example. Nice big interface here. This is a next generation of Ford Sync. They're not saying what it's called just yet, but you've got navigation here. There's reconfigurable panels for offset different media functionality and all sorts of good stuff. I think it looks 
looks really good. It's got a lot of potential, but we've got to be a little bit patient. This car, unfortunately, is not hitting the market until the end of 2020. And if you want the Ford GT, like I want the GT, you're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer. If that's not coming to market until 2021. That's it, Roadshow's five favorite electrified concepts here at the LA Auto Show. Some coming in the near future, some you're going to have to be a little bit more patient for. But as you can see, things are looking pretty good for the future of alternate mobility. If you like these cars, we've got tons more coverage of all those and lots more over on the Roadshow YouTube channel. We've got a full walkthrough of that Ford Mach-E and all the other stuff too. Check that out and also our full write-ups over on theroadshow.com.